Well, hello everybody, I'm back after my final week, or my week for for my final. I got my paper written, everything's done, you know, stayed up pretty late, gotten it worked out and all that. And, uh, so I'm back to uh, we'll see a thieves and I uh, guess we'll do some Fallout this week and might even do some Elden Ring. And we've got uh, Star Trek Guild Republic ready to go, so we've got some good games coming up and we're going to do some Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, I'll be doing a single one of that and just to kind of showing you my new character I'm making. It's a knife blade tank. Uh, I think I'm just probably going to do the PvP style first. It's a werewolf. But uh, I seen a guy I actually bought a dude have a shoes and it's a two-handed tank and he's uh, he like disappears as you're fighting him. It's a pretty interesting uh, concept. So, um, anyways, tonight in Sea of Thieves, we'll be casting off me well, and we're gonna go out and uh, just get in trouble. I actually thought about running, uh, doing that new uh, pirates, uh, pirate lord. Uh, mission they got and seeing exactly like what's what's it like how does it work you know see how far we can get and uh in it and see just have, i mean it, it looks pretty cool so i thought about messing around with it a little bit um we could uh, i mean we don't have really enough time to take on a megalodon and stuff but and then this week i'll be posting the other videos i've had from all the other uh in this last few weeks just so we can get kind of caught up on that what a hunt a killer whale oh yeah, yeah i think we already did that that's cool though I'll be posting that video on YouTube and all that. Beware of Frizzy Foxy, the pirate killer. Oh no. Come over here. I have a favorite. I will to not. Ask. I don't care. No, we're not doing it. That's, that's what's not what's going on here. We've already taken on the great shark. Not right now. I think that. Give us all, all five stars. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see here. I'm actually looking for. I'm still tired from this band. Let's see here. I've got to get. Uh, no. There. We shall sail together. I mean, it's so appropriate. I'm going to open up the Pirate Legends uh, thing. This is like his. Uh, this is the dream. This is the dream that he created this too. I mean, that's other good to the pirate legends that we all kind of work together. Yeah, sure, we're gonna have to fight and have our fun, you know. But hey, come over here. I have a favor to ask. This is like totally different. You used to, you used to like drop down here. You come down here, turn this corner, and you'd have to go down and through a whole nother thing. It's, I mean, it's, this is not what it used to like. They shortened it. It used to be kind of a cool route. Like you'd go down, you could hide in areas if you needed to from people chasing you. And now it's, now it's something like that. Now it's like a good place to get killed, unfortunately. But, I mean, once you get all the way down, if you can get all the way down here, yeah, that's actually not too bad. You gotta be with a pirate legend, or you used to, be, used to have to be with a pirate legend in order to get all the way down here. Like in the same crew, basically. Stay a while and trade some tales. Look at his voyages. Hey, a minute now. Loading. Oh, Legend of the Veil. Sure so, I'm going to 
Are going to drop that? Oh yeah. You've done well to make it here. There we go. At least we got some more. The veil of the ancients costume. That certainly weird looking man. I'm not. I don't. I don't know if I'd ever be rocking that to be honest. That's the one legend of the veil. Off to adventure. It almost Make seems like this is like part of a. Uh, Oh, we'll see. Almost like it's part of his story, the Pirate Lord story, which is kind of cool, but... Let's see what happens, right? Got our stuff? I mean... I don't know. Ahoy! Now we're just, uh... He's hunting people down. He's wearing the uh, pirate legend outfit. Usually those are um, people who like to sink their boat. Obviously he was on the island, so. I don't even know if I have a boat. Welcome to see a thief. <laughs> that's, what, that's the way it works, unfortunately. It can be kind of fun. I don't know. Sometimes it's, it's kind of nice to have a good challenge. But other times, yeah. So, keep uh, skill saw surgeon in your prayers or in your thoughts, you know, whichever wherever way you go. Steal us some things and stuff right now. That's uh, we lost someone. So. Captain's out for a little bit. Which is alright. I mean, it's my channel, anyways. I'm mining most of all the stuff, and you know, I was on here for. I was actually the guy who pulled him on here. I had been on doing. For like a year or something. I've only been doing it for like maybe two and a half now. Hmm. So it makes me wonder if this that's a place that on any hey, island you go to, which you, know, you can go I to any island, but if they're all connected. Whereas in you load in, you're loading into that and you could be loaded into that from another island which i'll bet that's what's going on there because i'm like i don't see nobody else around oh well. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, i think i'll grab a storage crate yeah, at least I know somebody else is on, right? So this is the two I normally care about, just because those are the two that normally try to sink it. It doesn't always work for me anymore. Uh, especially since they got rid of the PvP area. I feel like rocking something. Today, just a mixture of things. You know what I mean? Uh, that'd be kind of cool. So I'm actually just right now. I'm just looking at. Oh, you know what? We haven't. Let's do that. I've never rocked that before, and it's like brand spanking new for us. I just want something kind of creepy, scary. Let's see. You know what? I have a better idea. Uh, let's go with. Yeah, let's let's go with the. Uh, oops. Good now. And I figure let's go with like stuff glowing so it's like a ghost ship almost. Alright, this one's for the captain. Looks kind of basic, right? Until you get I love speaks. How about you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Must be mm -hmm. Please Not clever, right? <laughs> Snakes are misunderstood, you know. There we go. Snakes are misunderstood, huh? Be careful with those snakes. 
do you like chickens? I think it's armies. I'm just gonna go to the storage crate. Please don't scare the chickens. Uh, yeah. I don't even care about your chickens to be honest. So I start taking everything on the island. This is how I normally do it. And we'll see how many cannibals we got. That's a good that's a good tall tale. So this is, uh, and I believe we're on uh, Galleon's Grave Outpost. No, this is Dagger Teeth. So Dagger Teeth Outpost, and it's uh, called. It kind of finishes the story of the uh, the Morning Star, Morning Star's Revenge, I believe is what it's called. And it's pretty good. You get to hunt him down, and you're actually working for like the uh, the Davy Jones guy of this. He's the ferryman of souls for the Sea of Thieves. Not for like, I guess you could say the Sea of Thieves is almost like its own dimension, its own little pocket, pocket universe that technically um, in the lore here is connected to art through the shroud. So there are, because of that, there's like two different people who ferry the souls? I don't know. I'm not sure how they would explain that, but yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that basically. It's too good to be very soft. Cool. Woo! You ever try to explain humility? Like, what's the heart of it? What's that really like? What, you know, what humans. Hey, come over here! Humans, I have you know, a favor to ask! Be acting like the idea, right? That's supposed to be. That's what I was reading about. That's super tough from a Christian perspective, obviously. Um, and going to school, right? Um, to be a preacher. Um, I wouldn't say it's necessarily tough, but I think when you're going to school and stuff, you're like you want to make sure you know it's hitting all the points I want to read with David and something else like for it's actually a study of the heart of God, but the heart of God. In the in this class, they're saying it's humility. You can imagine that's a little bit hard to. Uh, it's, it's, it's harder to put on paper than you might think. I should say it's which is nice. So I mean, this is super refreshing. This is good college. You know, it's good college when they're not asking you for. They don't want you to just like regurgitate answers. You know, that's. You go to a college and that's what they want. That's not college. That's. And I'm not going to be the person like, that's indoctrination. <laughs> that's, no, that's just them training you to uh, go make money in a certain fashion, a certain way for certain people. Very specific, very so. I mean, that tells you that your job is going to only work in a certain way. So, you're only going to make a certain amount of money because of All right, so let's get this uh, show on the road, shall we? Uh, it's uh, the legend of the veil. Oh heck yeah! I mean, it'll be normal, so maybe nothing tomorrow, but it'll be the normal story on Wednesday. Continue with the Delta Quadrant. Thursday, I'll it's do good some to more. See you. Oh, Lord. The quest you're about yeah. to embark on isn't about gold or even glory. It's about protecting the life we hold dear. This huh? is the veil of the ancients. Ooh. It holds the power to open a permanent doorway to the sea of the damned. Really? With this power, the boundary between our sea of thieves and the sea of the damned is no more, and memories can become real. However, to use oh, this power, the veil dangerous. must be reunited with three stones that were taken from it long ago. Okay. There are others seeking the stones, so you will need to act fast. Retrieve right. the veil stones, and I'll make sure the veil of the ancients never falls into the wrong hands. That Everything good. you need to know is in your quest book. Good luck. 
I'm counting on you. Huh. Well, this is definitely not like your normal pick up a quest thing. This is uh, this is like its own tale. Death has a way of bringing clarity on the important things in life, like freedom. Oh, we hunt for the stones, we fight for freedom, all those who call to see if he's home, blah, blah, blah. Spring heart, there's that guy. I'm just kind of going over the, all the tales, so this is rather odd. Let's go downstairs to get some light. Uh, somebody's coming in. Those are probably server hoppers. Let's go nab that guy. Free treasure right there. What kind of treasure if we get this out as we go? Oh wait, he's laughing at me. <laughs> I don't I don't like to do that in real life. Give me an actual plan in real life. People adapt for sure, but figure it out as we go. I think. Weird. This would be a bale of stone. Bale of stone lost. What the fudge? Did it just totally kick that quest? Uh. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Oh, they gotta almost turn right around. We might as well sink this guy and turn around. So that's. There's a glitch. Um, I'll have to report that to Rear because essentially I put it down. I was reading and we took off. And then somehow how that other guy came in or whatever, it totally straight up took the book. Might be because I had the book in my hand when I was reading it or something, but it just illegal, it essentially deleted that quest. Whatever. Yeah. Our prey. I'm going against the wind, so there's no advantage or disadvantage at this point. Oh, interesting. But it's a skilly. Uh, it's not right. It's probably that new whale quest. I guarantee you. Well. It's me shift sides here. Off a little bit, right? Wow. Got a quest booted into a store? Are they dang? It's getting really fancy already, isn't it? <laughs> We're doing this. Heck yeah. <laughs> really not that much wall. I mean, yeah, it's in the weird. Max of what we've smacked this little. 
I don't want to go. I'm just like your server. Oh, seriously? Right there, he went back under. Just as we were like, we're about to attack the guy. Wow, this is just. Ugh. <laughs> Bad luck, man. Yep. It'd be good. It'd be good. <laughs> well, so far, this whole thing is just going all right. So, I think I will head back to Jack Street Outpost then, and we will. Yeah. We will see what we can do for. We'll see what we can do for getting that quest going again. I may not have time. I only got a little bit of time tonight. I'm going to poop my head around, you know. See what it's like. Do that. Do that. Done that before. Those are fun. Easy way to get yourself stuck. Uh, kind of be real sweet. Scare anybody? You know what I mean? Like surprise, bam! I'm Fortresses, just so you know, if you need a keg, or this is where you pick them up. You can get like four to five of them. Or islands, sometimes it's just three. But, uh, I mean, if you're, you know, you're gonna be taking on skellies, there, that's the way to do it. that right out of my hands. Alright. And I believe that's gonna be Oh different area. Okay, back in squall. Here we go. What's down here? I mean, it is next to a closer to a horse. And her name is the Red King, the Feared Dragon. Oh, we're scared that much. And they were scared of her up until the point where she got a couple of holes in her and it was over. They were like, oh, you know what? Oh, here you go. Oh, of course, like Cyrus. This was, I mean, like, that was like right off the bat.
he's gonna that's way more expensive right here than that silly uh the shark's gonna be wanting to go for us. So I can go back here out. We need to kill so pop our head in here. Ha ha ha. Decent. Could be worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most expensive stuff. Um, I wish, I wish you could like reload your stuff. Yeah, I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, you can go in here. wait till he goes at least one time like if I don't have bullets right there's boom like it's really easy afterwards get our ship turned it's easy now I mean, that's not the most glorious at all, but, uh, you know, I'm out of it. Oh yeah, perfect. That's always good. Down here for no reason. Me off. I use uh, how he, where he's loading it to uh, be able to fire when I was That might be like the big, the like, oh, oh, surprise, you know, whole real rich now. Nope, right there. Heck yeah. That's worth it, right there. That makes the whole trip worth it. I mean, the acid chest, you know, that's cool. But, yeah, it's this and the blue roof, those were good. That's cool. <laughs> oh, 
I mean, I'm totally ignoring the sirens right now. I mean, it's like... up there so that all I have to do is use my uh what all I have to do is use my um harpoon to get the rest of it. Number what? That's funny that it says like 20. I've already gotten that before, so I don't know why it's all odd like that. You said it? <laughs> I'm thinking like, did my character get in there? Eh, no. Was decent. Well done, sir. Other eye out here. Definitely more annoying than last season. <laughs> well done, rare. Well done. I've got my attention. There you go. Did I decide to go back under it? Now there it is. There she goes. It's uh, so it shoots above a little bit from where you're as I fire that out. Especially like you gotta, it's, I shouldn't say tough, but it's like you gotta time it with the water, you know. The bobbing up and down. So, I didn't turn my lights off because I was like afraid somebody's gonna find me or something. No, I mean I got glowing cannons, right? No, I turned my lights off because I wanted the effect. If somebody's looking at me, I want them to be like, what the fuck? Or be like, oh, I wonder if that's one of those guys who kills people. That sort of thing. That was a bad sword lunge. Okay. That's cool. Wow, did you see that? It literally just transversed. Oh, uh, never mind. I was like, I was thinking about something. Oh, it right through the ship. Wow, rare. <laughs> you know, you let you let yourself go. I can't believe you did that. Man, rip. I'm not gonna do it on this, but if you're super into getting every last piece of treasure on here, um, honestly, if I like sell more gems and stuff, I'd totally be into it. But you can also check, like, battery back here, you can check the little uh, railing from behind there, and you can also check the crow's nest. Believe it or not, they'll actually they'll put stuff in there sometimes. Mm -hmm. Found uh, that's where I found uh, not even they did on Reaper's vessels a lot more, but but I found them on uh, this little fashion. There we go. 
Eh, hey, dale. somebody's face. So I ate the bananas because I kind of I kind of want to right save the good fruit for a real real fight. Or just accidentally I don't know. Still got it? Yes I do. Ooh, you can cancel that just by interacting with something else. Bears actually been pretty cool to allow us to do that. They could be like, oh, this is a survival game, buddy. You think about it, kind of. It's uh, way less forgiving than Fallout, <laughs> for sure. I think it's like more stuff to kill you. Yeah, yeah Fallout's got radiation, for sure, but this one's got crazy other people who are insane. I'm not even talking about the actual other plan. Alright, now that you've got uh check out the fire. It's still going. And it's not. Look at seeing the Kraken's out. That's what that means. Ah. So either. It was going, and uh, that was the time limit for it. Or somebody finished it out. It was right over there. I think somebody finished it off with this thing. Let's head with the wind. Sometimes I'll do this. You know, it's a chill night, you know. I'll, I know there's at least one other person on. I'll just head with the wind. Taking us south, I know we can actually go south. Right? I'm not gonna have a lot of room around. Right? Yeah, just a little bit. I know. Go south is pretty good. Not really turn around. Backbone. I believe actually there's a quest on uh, one of the tall tales that gives not even quest by objective, I should say. That goes there. here we go. This is what I was hoping for. Heck yeah, what do we got? Sleep, probably, because we're in a sleep. Doesn't always work that way. What the fun? Okay. Yeah. Pick out the gunner. Couple of holes in there. And then I'm turn away. I'm not gonna let go because I'm probably sick. Woo, look at that thing go. Go a couple of pegs back. Nice. Well done, sir. I don't want to see any more. Oh, this is getting real ripe up in here. Well, we're doing it now. We're kicking with gas. And I usually just kind of do this. 
You can be way more aggressive than these guys, too. You gotta be careful of boats in the water like that, because that can be, uh... Matt. Big hog. I'm not too worried. I mean, this is a, this is a sleep, so usually they go down there. Oh, gosh, gosh, oh my gosh. There we go. Alright, just want to make sure our direction isn't like headed into rocks. We go ahead of our turn, right? Now she's gonna go. Self situated. Alright, he's gonna want to take this up. Over Turn back to Wider, then it'll be a very quick turnaround. Get in a fight like this. We suffer with the worst. Ooh, hey, buddy. Wow, look at him go. Okay. Oh, wrong ones. <laughs> you gotta shoot those a little higher when you come uh, into the bay or heavier into the bay. Galley and I would not leave myself exposed like this. We we're like we we're, you know, duking it out, broadside to broadside. You wouldn't even do that in real life. That's just I'm in a stupid position. I'm not too worried. I'd be far more worried, honestly, about uh, other players coming up on me right now. But I know I can actually out repair this guy. So all I have to do really. Why are you so mean, sir? What did I ever do to you? Your mother was a hamster! Oh, oh, okay. Look at that, he almost looks like he's... Sleeping. He's sitting there. He's not moving. Oddly enough. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure you got him. He's super... He's listening. He's super laden with water. That is. And then... Thunder. Okay, guys, got to hold. And come get our treasure. One of the reasons why I like to go in circles because when you're done, when you're done, you're still like circling, right? Circling the same area where you went down. Nice. There, you know, that's a nice little recap. I mean, it's really not super, super exciting. We're definitely going to have to, I'm going to have to make it a goal to, maybe that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Today's Monday. That's what, maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow. It's a special little thing on Tuesdays. Do that in the middle of the day or something after a bit, like for my kids to to nap, you know. Be able to show you the new stuff. Almost done, oh, man. I thought you were gonna get lucky. Bouncing. Oh. I like this one because of that. Uh, still one piece of separated, you know, like, I thought that was a pretty good just, This is not the best hole I've ever seen, actually, out of one of these. Usually, you can get some pretty good one. We're gonna have, like, just a radio schedule. There we go. Nice. Now we're cooking with bleach. All right. What is that? Oh, that's a, that's just a platform. All right, another skilly down. And that's all I do. I just, the reason why I go with the wind is because you're going quicker. You're traveling, you're actually covering more ground. And I swear the more treasure you've got laden with, the more they're going to hit you against. Uh, the first one down here because if I get a couple I can come down here and use that. Use it to clear uh, clear the decks of that. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. It's a uh, high He's definitely running high. Alright. Let's go see where the wind's taking us. The wind says it wants to go back north east. Yeah, I don't want that crust, so here we go. And I think it might be very tricky. This one. And we're going to pack. And see what that goes. I think we're almost going to pack first. Here. Oh. Let's look, throw a weather eye out, see if we can. If there's any more of these guys, you know, moving around. Hint, hint, rare. <laughs> but yeah, definitely tomorrow. So tomorrow, just stay. I should say stay tuned. Uh, but tomorrow. The, the next episode of Crazy Skid is uh, we're gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be trying that. Well, and hopefully it doesn't get deleted again. Uh, I have more than an hour. Still gonna stay it for tonight. Uh, 
I'm exhausted. Like I said, I was doing my final. I see And that's going to kill our wind, unfortunately. So, it's odd for the wind to change so swiftly. I should have done it with the pirate uh, Pirate Lord, uh, hold on. Just gonna put some regular stuff on and the pirate lord. Ain't the pirate lord himself. Ramsey's. Ramsey's the great. Oh, yes, it is. Circle right down by lighters back. Trying to let you guys know, it's only my idea. Man, this is the thing. I'm like, hey, I go out and I don't have any bait. <laughs> You know what? I have an idea. We'll take on that seaport real fast. That'll be how we end the night. Thank you, Scally. Went through a storm. Started a cool quest. Had a good plan. Went right out the window. And we just kept running. That's how you do it, right? Turn here to this and that. Uh, over towards that direction. And uh, so what you'd normally do is go a zigzag pattern, basically. That way, and a zigzag pattern. Once we're more in line, basic, uh, basic. Thanks for Wow. Fire's nice. Oh, excuse me. I'm actually kind of running. I think I'm running on my other. Uh... Yeah, I am. I'm uh... on the, the the look I've got. It's just. Makes me think of like a Scottish, tough Scottish guy, you know, on stories for the costume custom appearances that I tend to do quite a bit. Yeah. Usually I should run different pants on them, but of course needs a command drawing. I went Scottish because let me see like just start here, man. I want to see it. This read that we're doing, we're actually English. We're part of the United Kingdoms. Okay. <laughs> 
way of just... Ooh. Pretty serious today. Hmm. These are warning shots. I think they're like giving it a growl or anything. They actually hit us because they aimed, or if that was like sheer luck, you know what I mean? Like, we actually ran into that. I don't know if it's hitting water. There it is. Hello? Oh, hi, George. Wonderful. This is working out. So I will uh, actually go firebomb because of this one because we hit it just right. It does a large amount of AOE. There it is. Boom! AOE damage, right? You can do, uh. You can actually, uh. Set off the TNT barrels up. Hello? I could use your help. Get up here. Another overturn. What is going on here? Anyway, like, do they incorporate a tide or something? More realistic action from here. get on your boat and all of a sudden it's like oh, oh, oh. that's some issues now you know what I Down. I did that a little too soon, but you can slow yourself down when coming down like that by simply using a blender bomb. Because it'll, uh, before you hit it before, you can do it where you don't take too much damage and it'll actually kind of push you back from its own alien explosion, you know what I mean? I've already got all these done, I don't know why it's 
Maybe it's for the uh, season. I really do. I prefer a sea job. These guys are all like, yeah. the El Capitan. And here we go. It's nice you can actually put that on there so you can not get caught by a reaper as you see. fight while I'm waiting for Paying attention to Jerry Ryan not that long ago. She is thinking, well, I just, I was not say thinking, but I mean, it's kind of an obvious evidence. I should say, it looks like there's a suggestion that she wants to be able to go. Come back to the new Star Trek show, 7 of 9. Tell the story of when she's like, uh, when she's the, uh, 
do her ranger thing. Pirate, you know, <laughs> it's like that. You're cheating, pirate. Yeah. Maybe it was a crazy. Maybe. Too bad it's all that drama that's going on with that stuff. Not even with the Pirates of the Caribbean, I don't know. They have nothing to do with it. And if you're feeling spicy and generous, this is a great place to actually fill up your storage crates, right? Come over, get some treasure, right? So, uh, get yourself. Oh my gosh, it's probably burnt by now. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I mean, I don't think it ever actually create a real fire. Treasure on board, I gotta call it a night so as soon as possible. It'd be interesting if the fortress would catch on fire. I'm accidentally leaving uh, I mean it would burn, just not, you know, I don't know, for a period of time or whatever, right? There's some wood here. So oh my gosh! So why is the rum gone? Uh, ooh, no. It's on YouTube and uh, I guess it was on uh, waiting on, or I shouldn't say it wasn't on YouTube. I put a video on YouTube and I was like hitting the rest of my thing, so it's kind of my character was just gonna sit there for a second or two, like probably get there. And uh, I noticed when I went back to look at it, like. Hmm, there's, there's certain uh, songs from Sea of Thieves. That's old, you don't know that. It's kind of like, are you serious? It's like, why do you have this feeling? Capability, if this is where you got No, you guys don't care about it. You don't know yours. I think it really is, they just don't want to have to pay for any, like, being able to figure out a way to, you know, allow streamers to use. I mean, kind of, I wasn't even trying to use a song, I had just happened to be at a bar. You know, I was in the pub. That happened, so it does make sense. It's not like you wouldn't want people to pay for it, but I'm like, I mean, I'm not getting paid for it, right? Trying to entertain it. one person. Mm, about as good as it gets, you know. Only about 11 followers, so it's not as well, not fantastically elaborately awesome, but you know, midget. And I do get sir. I do guess. All right, here's the nice, expensive ones. I love it. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty good run to get, just some like a decent boost in gold. It's good to get just to uh, fill up your storage crate. Oh wow. That was even something nice and weird. Huh? I thought about actually hooking up the. Uh, Mouse and stuff to this and checking out the new seeing what that's like. I know that mouse and stuff goes uh, way, way better. You react way quicker than uh, you can do more in those than you can with a controller. Everything's a hot button, it's actually way it's I think the game is even set up to be on the computer rather than on Xbox. Oh, excuse me, which is what I'm playing on. It would be kind of funny if they added it just for. Oh my gosh. 
I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it before you do this. Oh, yeah. funny I used to do this and work on like getting better right so I can get a good sword lunge and all that before a stream so now I do it while I'm streaming <laughs> and you can see what it's like oh man it's not all like perfect perfect thrusts and stuff and unfortunately you can't even touch a single piece of that gold I have no idea maybe if it, the guy who <laughs> adventurous sea of peace will write another book and uh We'll get an understanding of more of the scene. I mean, they've added so much more to this game that it, it would make sense if uh, it wasn't a super thick book. I pick it up on Audible. You know, it's a good listen. I really enjoyed it. I really did. I actually really listen to it every once in a while. It's got a good kind of. It's see if for sure. Same way the tall tales are done. I got some of these stragglers, little small pieces here. I'm not honestly. I'm. I don't care if you want that silver thing. You can get it. I'm, I'm not gonna small change. Here and I'm just gonna kind of load this on here, so really, so I can get a weather eye view, make sure I don't have anybody you know, sneak out. There we go. Ha, I told you I would. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah. I was just paranoid, but it's too quiet. So there is an actual another treasure room upstairs. Look at that go. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't catch anything on fire. It's just going to sit there and burn. Leave that for the next person to be like, what the fudge? A night, you know, it'd be really cool too if you could with these boxes, right? Because you can do this. You could actually pick the chest up. I've done it before. When you open, maybe it has to be in the water or something, but. It'd be cool if you could open it like this. Of course, the left trigger, instead of like handing it, the left trigger and it opens the top. Right trigger and dumps out the contents so that you could use this to load up more stuff and not have to like single handed take one. Yeah. You know? Yeah, kind of I don't know how you do it. Maybe you have to make the clock interactable, like. Oh, the oh man, hold the blue button. Hold another different button and it locks it or unlocks it. And if it's unlocked, you can dump it. If it's locked, you can then give it to somebody. Like if has anybody ever used that? Have you ever used the give button with these things? I've never done that. I've been playing for two years. I've not belong to the same world. I'm all leaving now. Oh, thank you. Come on, unload yourself up. Go. I know it's back up. That tells me that the likelihood is there is nobody. Either a single person is doing the world events because it's taking so long, or 
they're just rotating out. You know what I mean? They're they are not. Uh, they're not. Um. Uh, they're they're not. They're rotating out as in nobody's actually doing it. They just they go up, they're up for their time, and switch to the next one, which is gonna be a little bit dangerous. Honestly, I don't even see the interest chest on it. So that means it's just me and that one other guy we saw earlier in the beginning. And I'm betting he's probably just doing a tall tailor. So I'm stuck in my area, so he's actually just basically not on purpose. Or maybe we'll sail by like two ships passing in the night. Oh. I can finally literally do that and see if my mom was lying. Do two ships pass in the night without knowing? Is it possible? I bet it. No lines. It's back up. Yeah, I think it's probably super dark if, like, there's no moon. Oh, man. That's a bit annoying. Here we go. Here we go that. That's, like, a decent little hole on this one. No, this is a quick, uh, well, it's been like an hour and 15 minutes now, but quick little chance. To be honest, if you get on, you can figure out how to get on the same server. I'll let you have all this gold. I don't really care for it. It really was more about the adventure, you know. Other than the fact that I need to go. Trying to get to that, uh, 75, 75, 75, you know. Gold hoarders and uh, merchant and uh, order of souls. I've already got it on merchant and uh, gold hoarders. Shoot me a, a message or something if you're interested. If you're not, well, then fine, don't. I don't want to see shoot me a big one. Like, I'm not interested. Like, all right. Well, alrighty then. So now. Now, I'm going to be looking for the key to the top. So there is a storage room in the very top, and it's usually got like two or three chests up there. It's just that little extra kind of storage key. It's always in one of these things. Alright, so I mean, it's a key, it's a key, it's a game time. It's all about... How much you can get in a in an allotted amount of time, like how long you can be on, if you got a time limit or whatever. So you know, it's not worth it really expensive. It may not be worth actually loading it up, basically. I know it pops over there. Like stuff like that. You can see most of the time, unless they changed it. You can see the shine of the key through through whatever you're what, oh, through the the uh, where it's if it's like it say it's inside something, you can see that shine through it. I would totally rather take these mangoes. Over the fire, not the fire, but the pomegranate. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, so this is like I said, this is a great place. I mean, you can get. Great food here. You're gonna get plenty of cannonballs. I mean, this is. I'm telling you, if you're just going out having fun, we got 50. You can get like 100 right off one of these things, and they're really easy to do. You know, you're gonna be out a while. This should be your first stop. This should be where you're gonna get yourself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the lid went back on. That was the scraping of the wood. I'm like, are you serious right now? And dang it. Uh, it's always good to know where these are. 
in case somebody decides to ruin our parade. Always fight back. These are super defendable. I've actually sunk a, a, a sloop, still a sloop from here. Much easier than when you're on a boat because you're you are not in a movable object, so you've only got to worry about how it's moving in, in its speed. And uh, you know, it's, there's no up and down of the ocean. There's no turn of your boat. You know, like I said, there's no speed of your boat, so it's just it's way easier to to fire from a stationary object than it is to fire from. Some newer stuff in the, in the, not newer stuff, the older stuff in, in the pirate legend area. Oh, there's the key. There we go. Storeroom key. Let's go check it out. Shall we? Always a gem up here. Totally worth it. You know, a couple extra thousand. Cool. Alright, I was not actually trying to do that. <laughs> Whoops, well, that's embarrassing. Well, here we go. Alright, come watch Club Cashew. Embarrass himself on the Sea of Thieves. Let's scowl it off for a limited time only. There we go. That was it. So, I can say it's not too much. There's only like two. Sometimes there's more. And uh, but it's a nice little extra. Little, I think it's a decent amount more. I think, you know, you're getting like what, I think an extra two or four thousand something like that. Um, and uh, that's, that's actually easy too. It's every pretty much counts kind of thing. Yeah. Look at that pile of treasure. Come in and have a person. Oh my god. Oh, nice. It would be funny though to set these forts on fire, you know? It's as long as your character's here or something. Or it's on fire for, I don't know, just give it a time limit because it's made of stone it's not going to burn forever, right? Use that as our reasoning why it puts itself out eventually, but it would be just hilarious to it'd be just hilarious to be driving by one of these things and the whole thing is just like engulfed in flames. And there's I mean, think about all the other achievements that you it. Like you're fighting goose while it's on fire for something. I mean, just kinda fun adventure in that way. Floors kinda halfway cracks and falls in or something, you know, I don't know. Fun stuff like that. Definitely don't. Uh, the one thing they, I think they're kind of missing here, on the, from other old school pirate movies and stuff, uh, is the one thing they don't have is that uh, is the ability to sword fight in awkward areas, right? So we see that in a lot of that's like a pretty famous thing to see in pirate movies, right? Especially older ones. Is where the sword fighting, like you're up on top of the, the yacht arm up there, or you're, uh, you know what I mean? Like, in the part of this is the Caribbean, I mean, like, I think they fought on a, uh, a, a hand cart, one that you're running around by yourself. I gotta take a whiz real fast and get back. Uh, uh, just watch it, and if I die, let me know that, uh, I died, right? Be right back.
And I'm back. Probably just in time to get a couple of holes thrown in this thing, yeah? No? Alright. Is that everything? I don't remember. I think so. Let's go double check. <laughs> just want to make sure the main thing I got was that jewel. Because the jewel, even though, yeah, it's worth money. Each one of those is great for reputation. Irreplaceable in a weird way. Especially the red ones, right? So, and like I said, I'm I'm working on the Order of Souls. Didn't have a lot of time tonight. I was hoping just to kind of get a small introduction and just kind of get my feet wet just a little bit. Yeah, it looks like that was it. Feet wet with the, uh, yeah, let's get out of here. With that uh, new Legends uh, mission they've got. Unfortunately, like it glitched and, and totally just like, I don't know. It's like, no, you're not doing that. Rare was like, no, absolutely not. That is not what you're doing, you Americano. Get back on the boats, get out there. There's a skelly. Murder it. No. They're British voice, I believe they're a British company. I can't really use that. Don't be insulted, you know? I just I really like accents, to be honest, and very interesting languages. Currently, in between my time from studying all that, I'm actually learning some the Irish and, uh, and learning uh, some Spanish from uh, Central America. From New first chest. I mean, we have at least three people on now. So let's go drop our stuff off over there at Dagger Chief Output or uh, Italian's Cave Outpost. I always recognize that because it's got, see how the rocks meet. So that means easy. Dagger Chief Outpost if you're in an area, if the rocks don't meet, Dagger Chief Outpost. It's always dark in this water, it's never cheery, it's always gloomy, like this is. You know, you're uh, um, 37, so if you, you know what I'm talking about, I say emo. If you're an emo, this is your area. Right? Come up here and sing your sad songs to the Megalodon like that, you know? So we're going to sing the original Megalodon songs. Got a request, really. Right. This is the original. When you can use this, I actually used it on the post on YouTube, the video. It's someone the newer uh, adventure they're doing right now. still on. It should be. I would, I would stink to only be able to do it to do it once. I mean, I don't know. I don't like how they're doing it. Ends in two weeks. Yeah, we still got that. Uh, I'll be doing that again after I, like I said, do the uh, that new remission too. Just so we get everything in, you know, you guys get a good glimpse of Kelb Cashew and like what my take of it is and I mean, we must see if these things are, I shouldn't say redundant, but they do fit in the same way of problem solving, you know, with like riddles and all that sort of stuff. Look around the back side of the island. This is just as good, honestly. I'm doing like that. Uh, you're doing a. Uh, Old hoarders. This is like the side of the island. like, you're kind of closer to all that. This side. You get used to gauging your speed and being able to bring yourself in at a a decent run. Slow myself down here. So this is me calling it a night. And uh, yeah, so there's one last thing I'll show you. So, when I start unloading stuff, because, unfortunately, we had the wrong flag up because we started hey, the night with a totally here. different... I have a favor Stop to telling ask. me what to do. <laughs> like, 
Right, <laughs> that does get annoying. Uh, that's us. Nice. I'm gonna run over here and I'm gonna throw up the other flag. So I didn't get my points before, but I'll still get some points if you're trying to get on, like, get those extra things, right? So when you're unloading, that's what I do. I'll, uh, I'll totally throw up uh, another flag, switch flags, you know what I mean? Just to get the extra points for the weekly bonuses and stuff. Like, every little bit helps. You can get quite a bit just doing that. I've actually gotten all three of the uh, bonuses just from doing that. And I was, I think I was mainly running Merchant Alliance with Skill Saw Surgeon. That's his one. To, to deviate from that too much. He does, runs mainly Merchant Alliance. I'm a bit of a gold hoarder man myself, but that's just because I started with it and I'm partial to it. Ooh, crap. Let's bury this real quick. I'd rather run one. Like what? What are you talking about? Oh, I just don't wanna just don't wanna lose it, you know? Hider of the secret treasures. What? You have buried treasure, Robert. We don't mind, ready. Anyways. Didn't want to just leave that out there. Nice little shallow area there. Scrape, scrape the barnacles off his keel. Which, yeah, these these boats don't really have keels. Totally different. It's like a much longer fin that goes down into the water for balancing. Totally different kind of ship. This That thing right there is not a good uh, There's a lot of actually sailor turns you might see in the movies and stuff that are not... Uh, accurately used, you could say, but, you know, it's fun. I mean, if you can call it a kill if you want. You know, if you, it's a game, right? You're not actually sailing. You know, you'd be like, that cable is scraped up. Who cares, right? It's fun anyways. I mean, even if somebody else is going to come in here and poop on the parade, if, uh, you happen to load into the island they were next to you and have absolutely nothing to do with it. Oh, my gosh. Actually, some of the funnest times I've ever had were doing that. I've been a little bit of a miscreant myself. I can't say that I've always been the nicest pirate. One time I had a cup, an extra keg, and so what happened is um, I was on an island. I think it was, uh, I think it's Ancient Spire Outpost. Hey, come yeah. over here. Ancient Spire I have Outpost. A favor to ask that uh, has that little side area, like, you know, maybe, maybe it might be Plunder Outpost. Anyways, one of those two, and uh, there's a little side area where, like, you have to go around in order to see the Reaper's table, so and if you, you know what I'm talking about, you do, if you don't, just trust me, there's more green back there where you can hide, so I was literally, we just got done, and uh, I was just kind of sitting on the beach, enjoying, like, uh, I think it was a like sunset or something, I don't know just in a game, just, just really enjoying the game's look, and uh, stop it, there we go, and uh, I still like a gunpowder barrel I had hidden because we were being chased before, unloaded our stuff, we actually like plugged the guy, he got attacked by a kraken, and he thought, well, you know, he's gonna come again, we, I think we ended up sticking a I think it started out, we sicked it, me and Skillsaw sicked a uh, skelly galleon on the guy. And then he came back to us again, because that obviously kind of irritated him. Uh, they were ch he was chasing us, we sicked a skelly galleon, then he was chasing us again. And we uh, plugged a couple of holes in him, and then he got attacked by, and they were galleon. And he got attacked by the Kraken. Hilarious! And I'm pretty sure they sank, and we thought he was going to come after us again. But during, I think seen us and turned away or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just, it's no idea. But we had a lot of fun. Is there only a thousand each? What? I still pretty decent for Jeff's like that. Um Anyway, so I had an extra keg, right? Because we're like sitting there 
like waiting for these dudes, which never happened. So it just ended up with me, a keg, on an island by myself. <laughs> Sounds like a weird, awkward story, doesn't it? A weird start to a, a weird story. Oh my gosh, I'm a weirdo. No, um, <laughs> um, so all of a sudden somebody spawned in to the game. And I'm just like, what the? So I went and I hid myself really quick in the bushes. And I waited till the person kind of got on the boat and they're doing their thing underneath, you know, like getting ready, changing the gear, whatever. And so I, what I did is I went underneath the dock, and I'm out with the gig, I put it right about there. And I just went back, and I sat back on the beach, like hidden the hid inside the uh, the brush and just waited. Because basically what happens is, as soon as he goes forward, that keg goes boom. And of course, that's what happened. He lets down his thing, goes boom, ro ro boat rocks like crazy up in there. He didn't sink or anything. He was fine. Because essentially, because he's so close to the uh, sand, he just, just started. As he barely sinks, he actually touches the bottom and doesn't sink really. He's like, hey, he has to, come over here. I have to initiate have more to actually. Glass. He has to go deeper in the water to actually sink, sink. And I have to initiate. So it gives you time. In fact, that's a way to, I've saved my butt many times. If you're sinking and you're like, oh my gosh, point yourself on an island, dead straight on, make sure it's not, not rocks, but an island, so it's got a beach, you want a beach, and just moor yourself. Once you get up on that island with a good wind, it'll give you a, a chance to be able to get the water out of your boat, all the way out of your boat. And if you're really lucky, you can put down some harpoons or something, and then it'll keep you on that island for a good second. You can actually fire off. I've killed... Gally Galleons up before. I've actually finished off an armada that way. Um, I used that same trick when I fought Davy Jones in the story, which we'll get to there. That's going to be one of the Wednesday, sto Wednesday stories. He's going to be Sea of Thieves at some point here. Uh, I want to finish. What the heck? Uh, how much beer can this buy me? I'm serious. Why are you looking at me like that? No, no, no. I'm taking my business somewhere else. But you can beat yourself on rocks. Basically, if you can moor yourself or beat yourself with that ship, any ship really, um, that allows you to. That allows you to get the water out of there and stuff and repair your boat. Um, it's hilarious though, to watch somebody do that, thinking uh, they're not paying attention, which I've been that person. <laughs> I've even laughed because I'm like, that is pretty funny. Uh, there's the last one, and then we're gonna go straight for the jewels and stuff, and, and the, uh, anything else. I don't know. I just want to get the uh, order of souls. And one of the nice things is I'm on this island. I can see hey, some spawn. Hey, come over here. There. I have a favor to ask. And I've been doing this like where I'm like unloading. And because you're on a, a different side of the island and that the spawn point is essentially open. I've had them do that when they spawn in or somebody comes in and gets their boat. But uh, I believe though that was I had a rowboat, not a full ship, so it might work out a little different now. Uh, that's not that's not the twenties. Oh, that's these doors. These. When we leave today, if we want to be really cool, what we'll do is we'll fill up that storage crate on this island and leave it. Because if the other person is lucky enough, when they load in, it'll reload all the other stuff in the storage crates. And they'll have, not storage crates, but in the... Um, Barrels, there we go. Get some gold order out. So the other guy that must have come in. Looks like a Reaper's in a minute. Oh. I'm doing that just because I want a little, little bit of that extra point. Not gonna get anything for lowering them, you know. It's not like when you're higher or whatever, but 
Every little bit it counts. So there's all kinds of tricks. I mean, think about it. Really, like, they're only... They're, you can bend a lot of the uh, physical dynamics to this game. Like the movie Matrix. The Matrix, uh... that don't want to bring up anything that would be super controversial for no reason or this one's even gonna be like closed could actually put down I've been playing Fallout 76 like crazy hey, just finished here. some of I the Dark Brotherhood quest I think I just got like the opportunity to do it now um, with uh, Steel Rain, I think I finished that and uh, or started. I just started Steel Rain, which is like the end of the Dark Brotherhood quest. If they do it in sets of threes, I think they do. So I'm on like that last part of the DLC, and I just started the uh, the Enclave quest line. So finishing up Dark Brotherhood, starting Enclave because I want to be able to launch nukes. Because main reason, because I want to be able to get the uh, the, the actual resources that only come from an irradiated area reason being because i've got plenty of plans for uh building jetpacks of all kinds from like t60 right so even if you're you, know, you don't have those plans but you want bring it to me you got the materials you got your flux you know it's a crimson hey. Come over and, here. Uh, I have a favor to ask. That's super annoying. Okay, you know what? What's on the horizon today? You win. Come back win, when okay. you're buying the grog. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. hear her and Merrick ran into a spot of trouble trying to take on the shrouded ghost. I always thought it was a <sighs> You better hurry up. She won't be best seen. I had so much better. Do, do, do. These must be all for the next season. Or not the next season, this season. Because I've gone, I've gone those a million times. It was kind of weird I saw that one was like, have 20 kills before. There isn't actually just straight up Xbox achievement for doing that. And uh, I will be streaming that at some point on how to do that easily and quickly. There's a thousand streams for it out there, to be honest. I mean, it's, unless it's some of the newer Sea of Thieves stuff, uh, which, you know, I'll do. Some walkers there. I mean, like, I'll be fumbling around learning to do it myself just as much as you are. I did do it. The skill saw, he certainly had a bit of a learning curve on that one. Uh, I didn't tell him, and I should have. He hasn't done as many of the different Sea of Thieves quests as I have. Uh, like the world world events. I'll go out and just do this by myself. Um, I don't care if I get sunk, to be honest. Like, you know. You certainly get ticked off when someone's rude like that, doing stuff in a rude way, but if you're just, you know, that's your thing, okay, whatever. It's not, a, it's not always the worst thing in the world. Sometimes a little fun competition is really cool, you know? My thing is, if you're after the gold, okay. Right, then you're actually, you know, at least you're being a buccaneer. Not a pirate, but a buccaneer. But if you're just doing it to, like, kill people constantly. On, you know, there's a point where it's just like, this is bad. like you're not even playing the game for the go. You know, you're just you're not even a pirate. You're just like a, you know, it's not even buccaneers. Like a <laughs> that would that would boil down to really. <laughs> it wouldn't would actually you're you're killing people for the fun of killing. That would be a psychopath. Like so, that's your character is. So maybe it should be achievement for people who are doing that. I don't, I don't know how Rare really feels about that, to be honest, just because it's it's been in the people have been doing it in the game for so long. I I don't know how they would. Ooh, look at that galleon. I don't know how they would really get rid of it in a weird way, but I don't know if they would care to even do that. Right, it makes great. This is Kelly Gal. It makes great. Uh, 
videos and stuff for people, right? Um, some of the guys I like to watch, Hit, Hitbox TC and uh, Fuzzy Bond. Those, I mean, those, a lot of their videos come off of that. A lot of, you know, a lot of their uh, real famous uh, fights and stuff and, and how to do this or how to do that. It all comes from fighting with somebody else. It's not... Oh, look at that. There's some person down there. It's not from... Uh, It's not from uh, doing the PVE so much, you know? I mean, sure, the PVE, like, that's how I got started because I was just interested in doing the game, but the, the entertainment value comes from from doing something crazy and, you know, it can, it can be fun. With, I've seen some really cool stuff with crackings and all that, for sure. Um, Bone hearters. Well, everybody. I don't really have that much more to go, so I'm going to call it a night so you don't have to sit here bored watching me unload like what? What is this? A couple of crete Last of crete's. Let's see. What could I send you off with? What is this? Bigsby's Firework. That's cool. That's, uh... Famous pirate captain. So let's see that. That sounds good. What, what was that other one? Rathbone. He's another famous pirate from this from this one. The Ruby Cobra. Chance of Vipers. I believe that's actually like a pirate's name. So, thanks for watching. You can come check me out on YouTube. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, under Club Cashew 50 You can also get a cool discount on uh, little uh, rubber grips for your uh, analog sticks, as well as an entire skin that will go all the way over in multi-different colors. Um, uh, you can pick different colors, I should say. From uh, Fade Grips. So check out. It's on my, I've got that on my... Uh, it's called Fade Grips. Uh, use the code word... Cash's stash, as in Club Cashew, right? Cash's stash. You can get a, uh, I think, 20% discount on them. And it's a good kind of cheap way to protect your stuff from any kind of salt in your fingers to... There's Bigsby. That's cool. To, uh, well, if you like M&Ms, the sticky sugar ought to be on your fingers. So, Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Salon. So